kaya mga ate, nandito tayo ngayon sa Realme launch ng kanilang Realme 3 Nasa Paranaque tayo And this is the Realme 3 And napaka-interesting ng telepono nito Because they're launching this price at $6,990 This is a pretty interesting phone for the 7,000 peso price point. This 7,000 peso price point is relatively untouched by a lot of uh, brands out there, mid-range brands. Even Xiaomi doesn't touch 7,000 so much. But this is a very interesting phone in this price point with a lot of interesting specs. Now, uh, this has a Helio P60. Now, I see you complain, oh, Helio P60, medyo lumanet. That's not that old. Helio P60 for 7,000 pesos is a surprisingly good processor. For under 10,000 pesos, we were expecting this phone to be around 9,000, 8,000, but no, this is 6,990. So that's essentially 7,000 pesos. We have some photos right here. I know you're not seeing them in the best light possible, but this guy has pretty decent cameras, 13 megapixel and two megapixel salikod. And then we have a selfie camera that is 13 megapixel with that do, do drop notch. This has a, unfortunately, 720p plus HD plus display, not full HD plus display, but it looks quite nice. The battery on this is 4,230 milliamp hour. Quite impressive. Uh, admittedly, I was fully expecting this phone to be like, I don't know, 9,000 uh, or even just under 10,000 pesos. Now, admittedly, the most affordable variant is the 3 gig 32 variant. So you have to pay a little bit more actually. It gets pretty pricey when you get up to the 4 gig 64. However, thank God for Realme that they gave us three slots for our uh, SIM tray and micro SD slot. So you can have your two SIMs and your micro SD. No hybrid SIM slot here. It's a triple SIM slot so you can have the best of the th three worlds with the two SIMs and the extra micro SD. Plus, Realme has given us stock Android experience. Now, it is Color OS 9 or upgradable to Color OS 9 and we are able to get the, I think it launches with Android 9.0, but there is a stock-ish Android UI in here, which is great. So, I love stock Android, it's very fast. I like the, the ability to have the app launcher as well, app drawer. So thank God Realme thought of that and gave us the app drawer and the stock UI. All right, so really quickly, let's take a look at some of the photos that were displayed over here, taken by the Realme 3. Now, I don't think the Realme 3 is the best camera out there, but at least for 7,000 pesos, it looks pretty nice. This is probably not the best one out there. This is an example of their night mode, nightscape mode, where it takes, I think, eight samples and then uh, composites it into a one long exposure shot that looks pretty nice. It doesn't necessarily have the highest resolution, but I think the photos are actually decent enough. The colors and the, uh, the uh, dynamic range is pretty nice. So I'm not gonna complain. This is a 7,000 peso phone, which shoots pretty decent photos, at least the ones we're seeing right here. All right, guys, so here is the Realme 3, and I'm sorry if I'm not showing it in the best light possible. This is what we get in a ballroom in a hotel or a casino here in Paranaque. And this is what the Realme 3 looks like. This is, I believe, the gradient blue. I'm gonna try and clean it up. It's an interesting build. They were touting something with the build here. It's first in its sort of category or in its price point. It's like a speckled spray paint type thing that sort of uh, slightly turns into black near the top. It's an interesting design. It's not a gradient type. It's more of like a speckled type of paint. And we do have the fingerprint sensor in the back, which is great. It also has face unlock if you're into that still, but it's nice that it has fingerprint at the 7,000 peso price point. Now this is the UI. A very interesting UI. I don't know if I would call it necessarily stock Android, but it does have the pages right there. It has the smart assistant from Realme. This is a color OS UI. Um, 
This is a 720p HD plus display. So that is a bit unfortunate. We're not getting a full HD display. And I'm not sure what kind of uh, battery saving modes are we, we're at. So maybe we can turn on, turn off smart power saver here and maybe get a little bit more performance with this guy. There it is, it's a little bit smoother. It's actually not a decent bit smoother than before. So as a first impressions, you really have to turn off the, uh, the battery saving mode to get a little bit more smoothness into the UI. This is a nice looking UI. This is the camera right here. And like I said, it's a 13 megapixel plus two in the back. And then we have uh, another 13 megapixel in front here. Like I said, uh, probably not gonna like blow you away versus a more expensive smartphone. But for 7,000 pesos, this is actually quite impressive for a phone. As you can see, we have a dew drop notch on the top with a small earpiece. And the uh, screen itself is pretty big. There's a little bit of a lip on the bottom. And then we have the sides which are curved. And then this is, I believe, precision CNC cut uh, connectors here. We have the headphone jack with a micro USB port for charging. On the right, we have the power. And then on the back, we have the, uh, the two cameras, the fingerprint scanner, and then the speckled blue colors with the Realme logo. Interestingly, the, you can buy a sort of a nice design Realme case for I believe 399 or 500 and it has an actual a big Realme uh, font on the side which actually looks pretty nice to me. So uh, very interesting phone. Helio P60 is not going to blow your socks away when it comes to performance but according to the benchmarks it still runs le uh, Mobile Legends and uh, PUBG Mobile pretty well so not going to get you're not going to have a lot of complaints when it comes to gaming here, especially on a 7,000 peso phone. This, like I said before, is relatively thin for a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, 4,230 milliamp hour battery. So it's pretty nice. I don't have a lot of complaints. Maybe if you wanted four gigs of RAM, it's going to cost you a lot more. I believe it's 9990 for that one. So the three gig of RAM is perfectly fine for me, 32 gigs of storage. All you got to do is expand it with a micro SD. All right, so I know you're hungry for a little bit more hands-on on this guy. Um, now let's talk a little bit about its build quality because this feels like very solid polycarbonate to me. I don't know if it's like plastic. Some of the, the, uh, at the uh, program, they were talking about a very, very new sort of CNC machine mach uh, design with, I don't know, some sort of layers on top. It feels really solid in the hand, but it doesn't feel cold. So it's not metal and probably not glass, but it feels really solid. It's more solid than uh, the other polycarbonate phones I've tried. And uh, it feels different from plastic. The screen though is, uh, I would say, could be more slippery. Uh, it could be a different coating on the screen itself. We've seen this before, uh, so that's interesting. Uh, it could be a little bit of a cost cutting measure, but as you can see, I'm navigating through the screens perfectly fine here. It just feels a little bit different. But the build quality for a 7,000 peso phone is quite excellent. Okay, mga kuya, I think that's it for our uh, hands-on impressions on the Realme 3. It's only 7,000 pesos, 6,990. And if you buy it on March 25 from Shopee, they're going to take off another 700 pesos of the price. It's going to be 6,290 if you buy on their sort of flash sale launch March 25, 12 noon, if I'm not mistaken. So that takes off another 700 pesos, nearly 1,000 pesos off on the Realme 3. So that's an excellent, excellent price to get it from Shopee on the launch day. The 3 gig 64 and the 3 gig 4 gig 64, those will be available on retail stores and those will cost 7,990, so another 1,000 pesos over and 9990 for the 4 gig 64 so it gets up to 10,000 pesos for 4 gig 64 and pre-order starts for those models will be on March 30th uh, for if you if I were you though I would get the 3 gig 32 and just expand it with some extra micro SD those are pretty easy to come by 3 gigs of RAM is perfectly fine by me Helio P60 get the best of both worlds price point for 6 7,000 or you can get it on the uh, the flash sale or the launch sale for 6290 
it's pretty unbeatable at this price point. I don't know if any other 7,000 peso price point phone, unless we go back, you know, another year or two and uh, talk about the other launches that have, you know, slightly dropped in price. So there you go, Alex from TechnoClass.com. That is the launch, hands-on, and impressions of the Realme 3. I think it's a promising phone from Realme. This is the of, this is where you know the competition is gonna become fierce because Realme is showing some very good phones for very good prices. Alex from TechnoClass.com here. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.